Yo, what's up, YouTube? Quiet Fields is back again, and um, earlier this month I did um, one of my What's Been Spinning videos, and um, now I'm back for another round to give you another um, edition of What's Been Spinning. And here's some of the other albums I've been listening. Here's some albums I've been listening to lately. This is Hex, Wrath of the Reaper. Hex was a band that formed in the um, uh, early 1980s. In 1984, they released uh, their debut album, um, No Escape, and in 1986, they followed up with Under the Spell. These albums were um, traditional um, metal albums in the vein of Metal Church and Early Sabotage. And um, for those of you familiar with a band called Shock Paris, they'd be another um, good comparison point. Um, but um, and then after that, they had some lineup changes, and they transitioned into an extreme metal band. Um, they've been called extreme thrash metal and even death metal by some. They uh, started this uh, direction in the um, late 1980s with their EP Quest for Sanity, and um, their 1991. Uh, they released a full length album called uh, Morbid Reality in 1991 before breaking up, and um, they've reformed. And their new material uh, sees them. Um, uh, back uh, with a sound closer to the first two albums than their more extreme metal sounding later releases. Um, but um, uh, yeah, it's an enjoyable album um, for fans of groups like Metal Church. And um, anyways, uh, that'll be on my best of 2017 list. And here's another album that'll be on my best of 2017 list. This is Decrepit Birth, and this is their um, album Axis Monday. This is the first Decrepit Birth album in seven years. I was waiting and waiting for Decrepit Birth to uh, return with a new a studio album. Uh, Polarity, their 2010 album, was I uh, felt their best yet. Um, the band um, uh, 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 seems to obviously take a lot of time um, to, uh, to do so. They're only uh, as uh, they released their debut in 2003 as Time be and uh, sorry, and Time Begins. It's called. I was going to say it's called As Time Begins, but it's called And Time Begins. That was a straightforward, brutal death metal album. Actually, didn't have guitar solos on it even, um, and uh, although it did have some pretty technical riffing. And then it was not until 2008 they returned with um, their um, uh, their uh, second album. Um, okay, which um, so, uh, okay, which saw the band actually evolving towards a uh, more um, okay. A, a more um, a progressive and technical direction to transition between worlds. Um, and um, then in um, uh, 2010, they rec released Polarity, which is I uh, was, it was the best album yet. And um, in fact, it, um, okay, and then 2017, or, or a few months ago, they dropped Axis Monday. And this album is uh, definitely their most brutal album since And Time Begins. And um, yeah, I guess you could argue it's kind of a hybrid of their three albums in, in a nutshell. It seems like they want to bring back a lot of the uh, brutality they had in the early phase, while, uh, uh, while also maintaining while also maintaining the um, uh, uh, the uh, technicality and progression of uh, their musicianships that they actually had on um, the uh, two follow-ups. And um, while um, Polarity will, uh, remains my favorite of Decrepit Births. Axis Monday is probably right behind it, uh, not far behind, and um, it's a definite lock for my best of 2017, no matter what. This is Entropy, and this is Ashen Existence. This is a um, progressive technical thrash metal band who released uh, uh, this album in 1992. Um, there are uh, seven songs on it, and all but one are over six minutes in length. Um, in fact, there's two tracks that are over nine minutes in length. The sound is a um, uh, 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 progressive technical thrash metal with melody in it. Although what's really strange is um, that there's a, the second to last track on here, it's called Psionic Dissection, is actually a straightforward death metal song. Uh, and, and it sounds very different for, uh, from the rest of the album um, um, uh, as, um, as it's death metal as opposed to um, uh, thrash metal with uh, clean uh, vocals. Um, it makes it sound very different, but it's a good album um, overall. But um, it, it just seems that that uh, one track is very out of place, as good as it is. Um, 
But yeah, it was 1992 and um, thrash metal was kind of going into a bit of a hibernation. I won't say it completely died, but there were, um, but, but from uh, after 1992, there were very, very few bands that were still continuing in the style. And because uh, uh, groove metal uh, or post thrash, as some call it, like Pantera uh, and later Machine Head um, came along and... Um, also, yeah, death metal obviously uh, overtaking it, and black metal too. Um, and um, they released two more albums. I uh, haven't heard their later ones yet, but though they've apparently, they apparently their next album, Transcendence, is reportedly more of a groove metal sounding album. Whereas E3, I haven't uh, uh, okay, I haven't heard of, uh, it, but and I don't know what style it's in. But um, Ashen Existence was a good uh, debut for them. This is Rotting Obscene. This is um, a new death metal discovery for me. I uh, posted on a message board uh, uh, for uh, Brave Words and Bloody Knuckles, and I saw this album advertised there. I um, hadn't heard anything uh, about this band before. It was released last year in 2016. I hadn't heard it, and now I'm wishing I had heard it so sooner because it definitely would have made my uh, best of 2016 video had I heard it sooner, without a doubt. Um, this is um, vicious death metal. Um, with some technicality and even some melody here and there, and um, and um, I'm, I'm glad I discovered this band. I uh, after discovering them, I decided to go on and buy their CD, and I got a shirt with it too. Um, I'll be wearing that one in a future video, no doubt about it. And uh, so yeah, that's Rodney Epstein, Deaths and Decay, a uh, great death metal album, and um, great new discovery for me. I'm, I'm glad uh, glad I uh, I saw a banner that was advertising them because it um, totally um, made me aware of it because I really liked the way it was described uh, to me. It sounded like something I'd really like and turns out I did. And anyways, um, lastly, um, gonna, uh, this is another album I've been spinning. This is Assorted Heap with Mind Waves. Um, now Assorted Heap is a um, thrash metal band from Germany. Uh, they released only two studio albums, but, the stu two, but their, both their studio albums are very different from each other. The first one is a full throttle extreme thrash metal, and, um, and the second album takes a much more melodic and um, accessible approach while still remaining very thrashy. Um, and uh, one song, um, What I Confess, is eight minutes long and uh, features a very moving, um, a very emotional guitar solo, and, um, and um, uh, and also, uh, some of the other highlights on here include Colored Eyes um, and the uh, title track. Uh, and I also like the closing track on here called Artificial Intelligence. A sort of heap disbanded after this album. Um, uh, but it, uh, it, it which is too bad. Um, uh, I discovered the, uh, the uh, band uh, through a website called ClassicFrash.com, which has it updated a few years ago. Last time I checked it up. Uh, I had a, the most recent update was December 2013, um, and I remember uh, him giving this album a full five-star review because uh, okay, if you if a very full five-star review, which um, really got my attention because um, he gave a lot of great albums mediocre reviews um, or very lukewarm reviews of albums that are widely hailed as thrash metal classics, but. Uh, I was like, wow, this is a five-star album to him. I've got to check these guys out. And and i got to say that um, uh, they, um, uh, this is a great album, uh, uh, Mind Waves, and um, definitely worth checking out if you're into uh, thrash metal. Um, although it's very different from the first album, which uh, I did review in the past called uh, The Experience of Horror, which is a much more brutal and vicious-sounding release. Uh, Mind Waves is a lot more melodic and a lot more... Um, accessible for um, those who uh, listen to the genre less um, but um, anyways the sort of heap left behind two great albums and um, anyways those are some of the albums I've been spinning lately this is required field signing off and goodbye